Yo, what up, bros and girls? Welcome back to the channel. We're back with chapter three, map one. Uh, and we've got a completely different team here. We have a domino dominant team uh, along with Iceman. And the reason for this is we're meeting um, Squirrel Girl at the end of this. Um, Aegon, obviously, like always, for clearing notes and um, for kind of clearing a line. But we have Aegon. Sorry, but we have. We're not not Aegon. We have um, Squirrel Girl coming up as the boss, and Squirrel Girl, from what I've been reading, is all about the bleeds. She's all about the bleeds. Also, uh, she's a she's a skill champ, so uh, having the mutant class advantage would be good. And uh, one of her weaknesses um, is, you know, all, most of her damage comes from from bleeds. So having a bleed immune or someone who deals well with bleeds or can shake them off is going to be very, very good. So someone like Omega, someone like Domino, someone like Iceman. Uh, and so I brought actually two options. One is Domino because I'm hoping that um, she won't hit me, I won't get the bleed, I can cause critical failure. And even if I do get the bleed, I can shake it off quite uh, quickly um, because Domino has a little bit has an ability like that and also the fact that I can do a ton of damage she's always gonna be unlucky I'm always gonna be lucky because mutant versus skill um, so that's gonna give me a lot of advantages right and um, on top of that with the with the whole dominance energy team I've got the heavy uh, incinerate on my heavy I've got uh, limber in case I need it um, so that's my option my backup plan is having Iceman as well because Iceman is actually fully uh, bleed immune so she won't be able to bleed me at all so then I will have to figure out you know the rest of the rest of her abilities but um, that's kind of our plan um, yeah so now while discussing all of that I'm, I'm over here building 100 110 hits on this fight and uh, yeah chapter 3 the opponents are I don't know if they're getting meatier men or um, or if four stars are just weak, but I mean that's a hundred and ten hits for the first fight. That was ridiculous. Um, now the next next up is Thing. I could use Aegon, but I don't like actually using Aegon against the Thing because I tend to lose uh, to lose him quite often. I don't know when he does six combos, when he does five combos. Like I know when he does them, but um, with Thing as well, it it's not like one to one. Like it's not like I do six combo and he gets six stacks. Sometimes he just doesn't get a stack um, so yeah it puts me out so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna parry and heavy with domino as much as I can and uh, hopefully I can throw in that taunt that bleed hopefully he doesn't even get to 15 stacks but we're gonna see I really need him to throw that SP Two. Doesn't want to do it. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. Uh huh. Yep. All right. There you go. Nice. All right. Now I'm gonna give him a heavy. I'll give him another heavy. And I'll throw the SP two. There we go, and now we've got a little bit more room. Another heavy, probably need one more head, but he might just die here. There we go, done. Doesn't even get to 15 stacks, perfect. And I don't lose too much of Domino's life. That's good, that works out for everyone. Everyone's happy. Uh, I'll carry on next to Minister Sinista. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna use Domino for Minister Sinista as well. Actually, Domino is, is kind of good for this line. I mean, Aegon is not very good against Minister Sinister. Actually, he's, Aegon's probably the worst person for uh, Minister Sinister. I think I was, uh, I, that's not his name. I know, I know it's Mr. Sinister. I don't, uh, Mr. Sinister, I don't care. Um, so I was in this fight with Aegon against Mr. Sinister. It, it was one of like the boss fights. And I was like, and Aegon had been uh, quite charged up. And here I was hitting him, and of course he regens 70% of your crits. And as Aegon's combo and persistent combo increases, you do more and more crit damage. More than you originally did. And so he was regenerating 70% of that. So my damage was increasing, and his regen was increasing. 
and I got him down to like 30% life and then all of a sudden he was regening so much from my crits more than what he was losing uh, that he came back up you know from like 30 to like 50 to like 70 I was like what's, what's going on I had to start hitting into this block uh, and then the fight so I, I found out that a, a pretty ramped Akon is not good against this guy hence why we had a domino run that fight uh, okay so now we go up this is a whole man is the whole line mutant or what uh, I'm gonna take Aegon against Cable because that's fine um, I got class as advantage but it doesn't matter Cable doesn't do anything special really um, and his SP2 is pretty easy to evade so and we're not gonna bleed him so it doesn't really matter to us and the other thing I know, I keep, I keep carrying on, right? And the other thing is that um, he's pretty beefy, so he's actually going to give us like a decent amount of combo. So it's going to be a long fight, but in, in this particular one, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with building up to 150 charges. Okay, we'll evade that D-Gen. Try to push him to his SP2. There we go. Now, okay, that's enough. And then we're gonna evade the SP2. Up to 50 hits. He's halfway down. So if we rinse and repeat, we'll probably be able to get him down around 100 hits, I guess. The SP2 again. Come on, buddy. You can do it. There we go. Step back. Back off. Back off from that next energy ball. And, uh, yeah. Throw, push him again. There we go. All done. Alrighty. So now we move on to Gambit, and uh, we'll carry on with Aegon. Carry on with the clear. up to 130, 140, so that's okay. Um, now Gambit's a little bit softer than Cable, and also we do a lot more damage now than we did against Cable, so this should be a little bit of a quicker fight. But again, we don't really wanna, we kinda wanna evade the SP1 and the SP2. Um, wh what? How did he reach me? I was like way back. Okay. Well, that's a little bit annoying. I didn't, I didn't think I didn't think I was in range there, but um, sometimes he does that, I guess. So instead, we're going to use Domino to have have to clear, which hopefully uh, won't come back to bite us against the boss. Um, so far, so good. Just pairing and having. Yep, nice. We got a bit of a lucky one. That's a bit more like it. Throw that SP2 and. Hopefully it's see you later. Perfect, there you go. Um, so let's see what else we have coming up. We have this one more fight. Yeah, one more fight maybe and then the boss. Um, so I could use Iceman for this, but I'm gonna carry on using Domino. Uh, just to kind of speed this up, quicken the fight. So got to incinerate. Okay, just evade that heavy and get into him. Another one that's not quite a critical. But there we go, it's a bit more critical. And throw one more, that's a bit better. Let's see if we can evade that. And throw that SP2. He's already dead anyway, but now he's definitely, definitely dead. Okay, so we move on. All right, and what have we got next? Finally, we have Squirrel Girl. All right. So let's have a bit of a look. So she's got Limber, great. We Domino can deal with that. She's got Combo Shield, Heavy Hits, Debuffs last longer, 
rapid uh, and cutting wires. The main thing is probably going to be limber, really, and the bleed damage. And uh, starts with 40 hits, instant bleed. Attaches to her, she can inflict bleed through the medium, critical hit. Wow, okay. A lot of bleeds. Light attack scroll gains an additional hit. Uh, on knockdown, Tippy can attach to her opponent or you. Um, inflict injury buff, distraction, preventing evades and auto blocks, bleeds, heavies, combos by 10, combo by 20. Yeah, right, so she's kind of, I need to do a little bit more reading about her, but she's kind of all about combos and bleeds and and taunts and any, all that stuff, but, um, you know, the main, the main difficulty in this fight is going to be uh, dealing with bleed damage and uh, dealing with limber, and the Domino deals with limber fantastically once she's got Math Massacre and Red Hulk, because she doesn't care about limber, she's got a one second of uh, parry anyway, right? Um, so we're going to deal with that and hopefully we'll figure out how to deal with the bleed if we if we have to um so she gives us distraction which i guess distraction stops us from evades i think we can throw the sp2 here gives us critical bleeds she's actually surprisingly easier than i thought she would be i thought she'd uh yeah i thought she'd put up a lot more issue than that but um there you go boys and girls domino just ruins her actually well um say no more hopefully this helped you out if it did like subscribe leave a comment that's how you deal with squirrel girl you bring a domino with just heavy and parry it's, it's too easy all right kakita no bros and girls